Welcome to Designing Spaces Think Green, a special edition of the show that's all about you, your space, your home, and your surroundings. I'm Ted Brunson. Home and surroundings, well, the environment. Today, all of us are becoming increasingly aware of how we affect the environment, the air we breathe, the water so necessary for life, the energy required to power our civilizations have all been impacted on humanity's increasing demands of what Mother Nature can give. Instead, we must look at the environment as part of our health, economy, and community, all working together in what we like to call a greener lifestyle. On today's show, we have a great lineup of topics to help you create a more eco-friendly home, a place where you and your family can live a more efficient and healthy lifestyle. So let's get started and think green. Part of living a greener lifestyle is having a more energy efficient home. Now, not only does a green home reduce your carbon footprint, but you also have a healthier environment to live in. The materials and construction techniques used in the walls of your home are considered its envelope. This envelope is something we'll take a look at in the first part of the show today, helping us better understand how we can create a more energy efficient living space. Take a look. Innovations in green home construction have come a long way in recent years, and building green is proving to be a valuable asset when considering your home as an investment. A major part of a green home is the air quality of the interior, another would be energy efficiency. These two factors are interrelated and are effectively controlled by what builders call the building envelope. Today, Think Green looks the building envelope around your next home and a relatively new material that contributes to building green. We're here with Mark Tropper. He's the Director of Product Management for the Henry Company to learn about building envelopes and living in an efficient green home. Mark, thanks for joining us today and thanks for bringing us out here to this construction site where a material called Blue Skin VP is being used as a barrier for water and air. So tell us two things. What's the idea behind a building envelope and how does it affect air and water? Well, a building envelope is essentially the combination of materials that separate the inside of your home from the outside environment. Now for a house, that would be the roof, the exterior walls, and the foundation. And these things have to protect you from rain, water, humidity, and air. Now what kinds of other barriers are there though? Because isn't this different than the other ones? Well, there's other kinds of barriers in the industry that are commonly known. People use the term weather resistive barrier to really describe a water resistive barrier. They'll also use the term vapor barrier. A vapor barrier stops the passage of water vapor. And more importantly, today we hear the term air barrier being used in the industry. An air barrier is a material that stops the flow of air into or out of your home. Now, most people are probably more aware of a water barrier and how they serve to protect the building, but what are the benefits of an air barrier? Well, if you think about it, an air barrier, by stopping warm or cold air from entering or leaving your home, really can help you save energy. It helps your air conditioning units or your heating units because they don't have to work as hard to maintain the room temperature inside your home more constant. There's other benefits to air barriers as well. An air barrier will stop air, which usually transports rainwater because the wind is driving into your house, and they'll stop moisture from entering the wall. And we all know that mold needs moisture to grow. So that's another benefit for air barriers. But wouldn't insulation take care of that? Insulation just can't do it on its own. Insulation is mostly porous, or it's not sealed within your walls so air can flow through it or around it, and you get what's called a wind washing effect. This wind washing effect really reduces the thermal performance of insulation, so insulation just can't do it on its own. Now we're at this home behind us, it's having a building envelope installed, but this is a new material. Tell us how it works. Well, we're installing Blue Skin VP on this house here. Let's go take a closer look, Jill. Let's do it. This is a sample of Blue Skin VP. As you can tell, Joe, it's made of a tough, durable fabric that's tear resistant. But what's really innovative about it is the adhesive that we put on the back of it. It's a permeable adhesive and it's a patented technology by Henry. You simply peel off this liner to expose the adhesive. You can then take the membrane and stick it onto the sheathing board. And what you're going to do is you're going to achieve a membrane that's fully bonded throughout the wall at the laps and onto itself. Now, we're in Texas, so we know Blue Skin VP works here, but what about other climates 
and other parts of the country. Well, the building science is pretty clear and works in all climates. I think you'd agree, Joe. Everybody wants to stop air and rain from entering their home, no matter where they live. So with that in mind, are there characteristics that need to be considered when you're choosing an air barrier? Sure, not all air barriers are the same. You want to review the testing for air leakage and its resistance to water. But more importantly, you want to choose a product that's durable and it's going to last the life of your home. And you want to buy it from a manufacturer that's reputable. Because Blue Skin VP is completely sealed to your house, it will give you better moisture and water protection than traditional building wraps that are simply stapled or mechanically fastened to the wall. Water can't leak through holes caused by staples or screws, and it can't get trapped behind the membrane. By acting as a fully adhered air and water barrier, Blue Skin VP resists drafts and air leakage, and this can lower your energy costs by preventing warm or cold air from entering or leaving your home. Blue Skin VP also improves the insulation in your home by reducing the effects of wind washing. Another important benefit not to overlook is the ability of Blue Skin VP to protect you against driving rain and moisture. Since you're fully sealed to the wall, Water can't travel behind the membrane and find an easy path into your home. As we see this home being constructed, the Blue Skin VP is being applied. So how does a potential homeowner go into a situation like this getting exactly what they want? Well, I think a homeowner needs to sit down with their architect or their contractor and really emphasize their desire to stop air and rain from entering their building. Once that's established, I think a product like Blue Skin VP makes a lot of sense to them. Okay, so let's recap the benefits of an air barrier for contractors, architects, potential homeowners. Sure, Joe. Well, first and foremost, Blue Skin VP as an air barrier is going to help you save energy. We're stopping drafts, we're preventing wind washing of insulation, and that's going to help your air conditioning and heating units be much more efficient. Now, secondly, we're going to stop rain from entering your home, and we're also going to control moisture. And we all know that controlling moisture is key to controlling mold. Now that's exactly right. Mark, we appreciate you joining us and basically giving us all an education on a new material for construction that's obviously going to contribute to a greener lifestyle. So you guys have a website? Absolutely. People can go to henry.com and download our literature on Blue Skin VP or other products that Henry manufactures. Great. You can also go to designingspaces.tv, click on the Think Green section. You can see the Henry Company link. You can also check out this portion of the show again. For Think Green, right outside Dallas, Texas, I'm Joe Gum. The new technologies are here now, and with a little extra effort, we can actually improve our lifestyles and the environment. We all want to live healthier lifestyles, both for ourselves and for the ecosystems. We also want to find ways of lowering our cost of living while maintaining an efficient household. We all have the power and the ability to make a difference. We have a choice. And it's a choice like we've never had before. Together, let's make the right decision and move towards a healthier world. For Designing Spaces, Think Green, I'm Ted Brunson. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.